How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more Historic Brawl. Now today we actually had a bit of a leak in the uh, Magic the Gathering community as tends to happen before a big release. Big release honestly. But this released accidentally leaked a new card type which is battle right and it looks interesting honestly. Uh, I don't really want to talk about the card quite yet, but, um, if they're all like that one, I am extremely interested. Uh, I'm gonna keep this, actually, because this is okay. Right. Uh, so I built this Mishra deck to kind of just, uh, do my daily quest. And I uh, figured that since I was hyped about battles, I'd, uh, I'd just pop in to record with it and talk a bit about battles. Because, well, I don't know, it's weird, man. Leaks are an odd thing, aren't they? Because on the one hand, it's out there in the world. People can go see it. Like, we all know what it is. Um, on the other hand... Like, it's technically not supposed to be talked about yet, right? Uh, I think that the goblins... Uh, not goblins, rats. They're very similar, I know, but they are different. Uh, the rats might have... Have my number. Toxic. I need to kill Ruin Rat. Because Ruin Rat can get rid of my melt, which is bad. And I like my melt. And Goblin Engineer can find my melt. So that we can achieve a turn 5 Mishra. Synergy. I guess I just play Gix now. I was gonna crux of fate when there were three rats eating me, but there aren't three rats eating me right now. I think we're gonna risk it for the proverbial biscuit too. We're gonna put our dragon engine in the bin so that next turn he can meld and uh, murder rats. No oh, man, I would have returned Ruin Rat because that's a possible answer, but you'd have to have a way to kill it, right? To make it actually work. Which isn't necessarily a guarantee. Yeah, Mishra Meld next turn. Another reason I built this deck was in the back of my mind I recently uh I recently melded Bruna and Gisela. Um in mono white and Mishra and the Phyrexian Dragon Engine are just kind of very similar, right? Because uh, yeah, I'm going for it, friend. I don't care that I have a hand. Uh, actually, we can decline, can't we? So we give everything negative one, negative one. We target opponent. They're all gone. I've actually melded Mishra more times than I thought would be possible. Just playtesting the deck. Uh, sacrifice element permanent. Yeah, I can sacrifice a goblin elder. I don't really care about him. <sighs> Mishra is our game plan. Yeah, no. He's not as like overpowering as he looks on paper. Like, I'd almost rather have a Gisela meld than a Mishra meld. Because Brizella, Voice of Nightmares, like, she shuts off a lot of targeted removal, which keeps it alive. Um, opponent. 
wanted. Discard two cards. Three damage destroy an artifact. You will discard the cards. That will die, that will die. I think we have effectively killed the rats. It feels bad, man. Like Mishra was Mishra was a big time guy, and uh, he's basically been relegated to a rat catcher in our current circumstances. I pitched him against more powerful decks just over the course of my playtesting, and uh, he doesn't always do that great. Because it's a bit of a bit of a toss up whether or not you can first get him to flip, and then second of all, if flipping does enough against uh, Shrine, I had a match, and I flipped him, and I attacked with him for like five turns in a row, and it did nothing. The Hauntons healed more than nine damage every turn. Like they kept on playing their commander into it, which was nice, but. At the end of the day, it still just didn't do enough. <laughs> Eventually, the shrine critical mass went past the point of parity into absurdity, and it was over. Um, yeah, so I actually do want to talk about the battle a bit, don't I? I know I don't want to, but I also do want to, you know? And by the time this video goes up, the... It will actually be officially released, so I actually don't have anything to worry about. This is just me from the future somehow having knowledge of things that hasn't happened yet. Uh, yeah, so it's just like a it's just like a close of vegetation, right? Like it's just explosive vegetation when you cast it, and then if you attack it, uh, you can turn it into a tree boy or an elemental. That's kind of cool. I was thinking to myself if. Like this had a had like a home in some of our Tameshi spirit collar decks. Which is not a real deck if you want to search that up. It's uh, just enchantment saga looping with Tameshi and Spirit Collar and it's a deck that I've played around with a bunch over the past two standards. Um I think I did a video for it in the channel at some point. Uh, we actually have to activate this orb because we are bleeding lands. Opponent? I am aware you have more mana than me. Uh, so we'll put that one on the field. If we can play that one. We can play our Lagamos. Lagamos with an ambitious addition. I can see that in like in post deck creation clarity um because like we're never really going to activate his tutoring ability right because we don't have enough creatures uh but his tutoring ability is why he's in the deck because he's supposed to help us find the dragon engine one of the weird avenues we could take to get there but getting there is just not possible the other plan to get the dragon engine as you may see, it's Dragon's Approach, which is also not very popular or powerful of a way to get there. But uh, we got, what is that called? Sculpting? Sculpting something. You basically exile a card, and then cards that are the same type of it as it uh, cost two less to cast. See if we can get a creature. I didn't realize that it, the um, hand disruption mode had such a harsh requirement to it. I always favored uh, the other one, the Eldest Reborn, over Cruelty anyways. It's just a little 
a little strange. Because it's five mana, right? And it's a rare, so it, it could have a better a better thought seize attached to it, but or a better hand disruption. I guess would having a thought seize attached to it have been too much? I don't think it would have, but who knows. Um, but w part of the reason for this video is to talk about the new March of the Machine stuff. And uh, we do have two Planeswalkers that are currently out as of when I'm actually supposed to be able to talk about these things. And that's the new Rin and Realm Breaker, which is crazy. Uh, why would you even try to bond with that thing? That's mad, man. Uh, I guess we just get some, some devastation going. Hello and good luck, opponent. Is that a, is that a heroic intervention I see in hand with not enough mana to cast it? Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Um, uh, we're in Realm Breaker, right? Back on topic. Ye makes a land a 3-3 with Hexproof so it doesn't get eaten by a removal spell, which is kind of the bare minimum to make that ability to work, especially considering it doesn't untap the land. So it's 3 mana, you might be able to attack for 3. Uh, and it has Vigilance, so you can still use the land to cast something afterwards, which is nice. Uh, his negative 2 is uh, mill 2 cards return a card to hand that was milled this way, and that is just awful. Maybe mill three cards, actually. I don't know off the top of my head, but either way, it's awful, right? Because you're restricted to the cards that you milled, and then his negative seven ability is that you may cast permanents from among cards in your graveyard and play lands. Uh, which is really, really good. Really, really good. Uh -huh. So do we start dragons approaching, or do we just... I think we set up. Time warp is always welcome. Uh, a dragon's approach can go to the bin, because we just need five of them in the bin. We don't actually need to cast five of them. So we have six plus two, that's eight mana. That should mean we can time warp, cast a dragon's approach, dragon's approach again, and then maybe again if we draw another one. We have 25 in the deck, so it's roughly a fourth of our deck. I didn't want to go too heavy, but uh, I also wanted to be able to reliably get five of them in my bed. Um, yeah, so I'm not very excited about Rin and Realm Breaker. I think it's, uh, I think for three mana, oh, <laughs> that feels bad, man. Blink of an eye. Yeah, no, in the blink of an eye, I helped you return something from your graveyard. But reanimating Lagamos would have done nothing. We don't have a burn spell that can get through eight anyways. We need blood in the snow, realistically, to uh, to come out of this in somewhat decent state. But they have learned their lesson about holding up heroic intervention. So uh, feels bad. Planar bridge. It's neat. A little too slow though. Uh, so this can blank an attack from foreign collector, right? Because it's a 4 4 lifelink. It'll soak up 4 damage and then it'll heal us for 4. So that leaves us having to find a way to block. We can't do it, can we? We just need to block f f 5 more damage. We can get the Lamia. Maybe there's something we can put in the bin that can help us out. 
Although with the Kieran on the battlefield, it's going to be difficult to say the very least. I guess we just put another Dragon's Approach. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This technically works for the briefest period of time. Come on out, Dragon Engine. So one removal or disruption spell and our plan falls apart, we die, but as it stands, we have another turn. They're hovering, that means we don't have another turn. We'll see, we just we have to get through their turn first, right? That's how it works. Who was the other planeswalker that we got? Elspeth Archangel, that's right. Um never mind. Never mind. My big brain play was undone by a cure glass spinner. Well, this is a game two. We got one more. I don't know. Initially, I got ahead of making videos so that I could uh, so I could think through things more often. And then I kind of just settled back down into uh, into a schedule of doing a video a day anyways so I don't know what my reasoning there was or why my reasoning fell through so quickly I mean it's still fun and this way um, whenever you guys leave a comment about a deck suggestion I can uh, build it and know that if I don't get it right on the first issue have a couple of days to tweak it, get it right, and that there are other things ready. I don't know, it's just a sense of security, I suppose. But, um, back to the topic at hand, because I'm apparently very bad at staying on topic. Uh, Elspeth. She's very cool. I don't think she's gonna do anything. Uh, she... Where is my dragon is at the end of this, right? Right, right, right. After the cloud key. I searched this deck enough now that I just <laughs> memorize the order that Arena gives you. That's kind of depressing, but. Hmm. Yeah, no. I don't think she's going to do enough. Because her. For four mana, her plus one is make a 1 1 with life link, which is. It's not the worst token you could make, but it's it's close. Um, and the second ability is plus two plus two, makes it an angel, and uh, I think gives it flying. Which is cool. It's a reasonably decent pump, but I wouldn't pay four mana for it. And then the, uh, what was her final ability? Now that one I just seriously don't know, but it's mainly because I don't think I'll ever actually get to it. Uh, no block. You have bested me in this regard. I'm gonna play my Gix now. So we're going to take out the small guys. Free food. Love to see it. We are just dead though. That is unfortunate. Hmm, well, we melded. Like, that's, that's what we're here for. Uh, three damage, negative something, and destroy an artifact. So what are we going to deal three damage to? 
Probably an angel. Destroy the book. If we had a blocker, we'd be fine, but we don't have a blocker. Is there a one mana red spell that gets me out of this? Wow. I kind of wish I had done that sooner, honestly. <laughs> Too late now, but... You were an instant man. You actually would have saved me. That is impressive. Claim the firstborn. We'll build a Dreadhorde Arcanist deck again. You've proven your loyalty to me. <sighs> Either way. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for sticking around for my ramblings, even though this isn't that interesting of commander, all things considered. Uh, but either way, we'll be talking more about the set. And I will see you in the next video. So if you did enjoy, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. That's the other thing that you do. Um, bye for now.